Okay, so this is the second video for equation. So we are going to solve the equation involving the set. Okay, so let's proceed to the first example. Okay, so solve the square root of x minus 1 equal to 2. Okay, so if you do have some set, what do you need to do is square both sides. Okay, so the square root of x minus 1, we're going to square them. And then the right hand side also square, so square on both sides. Okay, so square root, square that will get rid of the square root. So we are going to left with x minus 1 equal to 2 square which is 4. Therefore, x must be equal to 4 plus with 1 which is equal to 5. Okay, so that is how we solve the equation involving the square root. Of course, you can go back and check. So check. Okay, if we substitute 5 into here, so we're going to have 5 minus 1. So this is square root of 4, which is exactly equal to 2, which is on our right hand side. So this is the correct answer. Okay, so the next one. So we have to solve the square root of 7 minus x equal to x plus 5. Again, we're going to do the square both sides. So the square root of 7 minus x square equal to x plus with 5 square okay so the square will get rid of the square root so this is 7 minus x equal to so x plus 5 if we square this this one will become x square plus with 10x plus with 25 okay so now let us bring everything to the right hand side so this is x square 10 plus with 1 so this is plus 11x and then 25 minus with 7, so this is plus with 18, equal to 0. So factorize them completely. So we have x, x, 9, 2, plus, plus. So we have x plus 9, x plus 2, equal to 0. Which can either give x equal to negative 9, or x equal to negative Okay, so every time we have two answer, we need to check whether are we going to accept both or are we going to accept only one of them. Okay, so let us test when x equal to negative 9. Okay, so what happened on the left hand side? So left hand side, we are going to have 7 minus, minus 9. So 7 plus 9, which is equal to square root of 16. So this is actually equal to 4. So let us check with the right hand side. So for the right hand side, we have negative 9 plus with 5. So this is actually equal to negative 4. So 4 is not equal to negative 4. So that means x equal to negative 9 should be rejected. Okay, so another one when x is equal to negative 2. So on the left hand side, we have the square root of 7 minus minus 2. So 7 plus 2 which is square root of 9. And then square root of 9 is actually equal to 3. So now right hand side. This is negative 2 plus with 5 which is exactly equal to 3. So therefore x must be equal to negative 2. So that one is our final answer. x equal to negative 2. Always make sure if you do end up with 2 answer. You have to check whether are we going to accept both or not. Okay, so over here we have two set actually. So square root of x minus 2 plus with the square root of x plus 3 equal to 5. Okay, again we have to square both sides. So the square root of x minus 2 plus with the square root of x plus 3. So this is equal to 5. So now everything on the left hand side inside a big bracket square. Right hand side, square. Okay, so we're going to square this one. So do you remember if we have a plus b, we have a square. So this is actually a square plus 2ab plus b square. So I'm going to expand this using this formula. So what do I have is the square root of x minus 2 square plus with 2 and then the square root of x minus 2 square root of x plus 3 and then plus with the square root of x plus 3 square and this is equal to 25 
Okay, so square root n square, those two will cancel out. So we're going to have x minus 2 plus. So we got a set between x minus 2 and x plus 3. So I can actually combine them into one set. So the square root of x minus 2 multiply with x plus 3. And then the square root of x plus 3, you square them. So this is simply positive of x plus 3 equal to 25. Okay, so leave the set on the left hand side. Everything else will go to the right hand side. So we have 2, the square root of x minus 2, x plus 3. And this is equal to 25 minus 3 and then plus with 2. So 25 minus 3 is 22 plus 2. So this is 24. And then we got x and x. So this is negative 2x. Okay, so before I square, I want to get rid of the 2 here. So let us divide everything by 2. So I will have the square root of x minus 2, x plus 3. So this is equal to 24 over 2, so 12 minus. So 2x over 2, so this is 12 minus x. Okay, so now again to get rid of the square root, we have to square both sides. So everything on the left hand side, inside a big bracket square bracket square okay so now square root and a square so those two will cancel out so we're gonna end up with x minus 2 x plus 3 equal to 12 minus x square okay so let us expand our left hand side and right hand side and then simplify them so this one is x square and then x positive 3x negative 2x negative 6 equal to so 12 square 144 12x 2 so this is negative 24x plus with x square so left hand side right hand side we got x square so those two will cancel out so i'm going to bring the x to the left hand side so i have 3x negative 2 which is x x plus with 24 so this is 25x equal to 144 plus with 6 so this is 150 which means that x should be equal to 6 okay so now we have to check our answer so always check your answer so do some checking okay so when x is equal to 6 so on the left hand side we will have the square root of 6 minus 2 plus with the square root of 6 plus 3 so 6 minus 2 4 square root of 4 is 2 plus 6 plus 3 is 9 square root of 9 is 3 so 2 plus 3 this is actually equal to 5 and on the right hand side we do have 5 so 5 is equal to 5 therefore we can say that our answer is x equal to 6 okay so this is the last one so solve the square root of 2x plus 11 plus the square root of x plus 2 equal to the square root of 5x plus 17. So this time we are having triple set. Okay, so like usual, we have to square both sides. So the square root of 2x plus 11 plus with the square root of x plus 2 equal to the square root of 5x plus plus 17 okay so to square both sides do make sure inside a big bracket square bracket square okay so now this one we're gonna expand them so a plus b square so this is simply a square plus 2 a b plus b square so this is the square root of 2x plus 11 square plus 2 the square root of 2x plus 11 square root of x plus 2 plus the square root of x plus 2 square equal to the square root of 5x plus 17 square okay so the square root with a square so those two will cancel out so this one will simply be 2x plus 11 plus 2 and then these two I'm going to combine them together so this is the square root of 2x plus 11 x plus 2 
and then this one square root with a square so those two will cancel out so we are left with x plus 2 equal to square root square again so 5x plus 17 okay so now bring everything else other than the set to the right hand side so we have 2 square root of 2x plus 11 x plus 2 equal to so we have 5x minus x so 4 4 minus 2 so this is 2x and then 11 plus 2 so this is 13 so 17 minus 13 so this is positive 4 okay so divide them by 2 first before we square both sides so this is the square root of 2x plus 11 x plus 2 equal to so divide them by 2 so this is x plus 2 okay so now we're gonna square both sides so this is 2x plus 11 oops the sign okay and then this is x plus 2 equal to x plus 2 square okay so now you can actually expand them and factorize but since i do see i have x plus 2 and x plus 2 here so i want to factorize them so let me bring this one to the left hand side so i have 2x plus 11 x plus 2 minus x plus 2 square equal to 0 so let me factorize the x plus 2 so x plus 2 and then inside here we're gonna have 2x plus 11 so since i already take out 1x plus 2 i'll be left with another x plus 2 here so you times them with negative so it should become negative x negative 2 equal to 0 okay so what do you have is x plus 2 Okay, so x plus 2, 2x minus x, 2x minus x, so x, 11 minus 2, so this is positive 9, equal to 0. So x can either be negative 2 or x is equal to negative 9. Okay, so now let us do some checking because we have two answers, so we have to check which one we're going to accept. So let me change the color first. Okay, so now when x is equal to negative 9 so i'm gonna check the right hand side first so for the left hand side i will end up with the square root of 2 times negative 9 plus with 11 plus with the square root of negative 9 plus with 2 however this one i have some negative number inside of the set so this is actually some imaginary number so i cannot accept this so this one will be rejected automatically because we cannot have any negative number inside of the set so let us check for the second one okay so when x is equal to negative 2 so on the left hand side we have 2 times negative 2 negative 4 negative 4 plus 11 so we have square root of 7 plus square root of negative 2 plus 2 so square root of 0 so this is equal to square root of 7 on the right hand side we have the square root of 5 times with negative 2 so negative 10 plus with 17 so this is square root of 7 so since both of them are having square root of 7 this one will be accepted therefore our final answer is x equal to negative 2 Okay, so that's all for this equation involving the set. So I'll see you guys for the next part.